Libby Gibson, Town Manager. Welcome to What's Going On in Town Government. We had a real long meeting this week. However, as I made a little comment after the meeting, back in the day, like in the 90s, a four-hour meeting, which is what this was, was not totally uncommon. And we started at seven, not six. So it was kind of like going back in time a little bit. Anyway, we had a good update from our health officer about flu season. And I think you can go to the town website and there's information about flu shots, vaccines. So those are becoming available now. Uh, we should now. be worried? Why, uh, why well, he's he always, well, he's just updating us on where, where you can get the vaccine. Oh, okay. And they're always recommending the vaccine this time of year. Right. So I don't remember if he said about the season itself. I don't think it's there's any. to be yeah. worse than usual or anything like that. Um, okay, we had a couple of real estate items. We had our Steamship Authority representatives come in and give us a little update. There's a new boat that's going to start getting built sometime soon. It sounded like we aren't actually going to see the new boat. That's but right. But we're going to get a hand-me-down from the vineyard. But that's right. They seemed okay with that. And there's a schedule change of some kind. They, they mentioned there was an ad in the paper about it. And I'm going to try to get it in my next new newsletter, which should be out next week. But anyway, they gave a good update. We had two public hearings, one for the Sea Dog, which um, had a liquor license violation or two, and they were required to close for Columbus Day weekend this year. Is that which a they accepted. penalty? That's their penalty. Wow. Yeah. We also had a hearing on the Summer House Bistro, which took a while. And the end result of that one, there was their noise and other issues there. They got a written warning in accordance with, we, we have some regulations that, basically local regulations that govern liquor licenses, and there are, um, it's, it's set forth in the regulations what's sort of supposed to happen to you if you violate the liquor laws. So this was what happened. We followed that protocol for this. Does a lot that, of people there for that. Does that mean that, does anything change? Can they still? They'll still operate. I mean, I've, hopefully, still have, hopefully, what will change is they'll not be violating. They, they were be, just too loud. There were the other noise. issues, but the main one, I think, was the noise. Yeah. All right. Okay, we had a quarterly update from our Nantucket Energy Office, which is comprised of our consultant George Aronson and our energy coordinator Lauren Sinatra. They did, they did a great job. Very interesting information. Um, we also, George is also our solid waste management consultant, and he gave us an update about some solid waste issues and the extension of our landfill mining program. Ooh, I want to find out more about that. I'm going to go out there and do something on that. Okay, that's great. Yeah. Um, the mining program technically ends June 30th, 2014, but we, we all want to extend it, so we're going to start that process now. We, oh, I also gave the board an overview of capital project recommendations from town administration for fiscal 15. We've got, we've got a lot of big projects coming up. One of them that I'm recommending is the completion of design and construction for a new fire station. And I think, personally, that the fire station should go to where it was originally intended, which is at Fort Fairgrounds Road, next to the police station. We would then sell the property the fire station is currently on and use the proceeds, potentially, to offset the cost of construction of the new station. We'll see how this transpires. I think there are probably mixed feelings about maybe the location of the fire station or the cost or whatever, but we're going to be working through those because we need a new fire station however, wherever, but soon. Okay. There were some other biggish projects. The school's got a lot of things, um, about a million three worth of items. The fire station is estimated at about 13 million, including com the completion of design. And why do these annoying trucks come by when I am talking? They just Are don't care. They just don't care. Don't they, they have see a job what's going to do and they're going to do it. Anyway, um, so there, there's some other sort of, yeah, another item is half a million dollars for design for our, a new Our Island home facility. And um, that, there's a lot of discussion and, plan, and, and conversation going on about where that should be located and, and what it should look a like. Half a million dollars to design it? Just mm -hmm. to design it? Yes, design. Well, typically, the estimated cost of a project, and we're, and we're estimating approximately 15 million for the project. Typically, design costs are roughly 10 to 20 percent, depending God, on what you're doing. It's a lot of I'm money. I'm in the wrong business. Tell me about it. I could draw some pictures for them and save them a bunch of money. Could you? Yeah, I'd like to see those. 
you know, and then I'll tell you if we're, pay, we're ready to pay All half right. a million dollars. Yeah, for exactly. It. So we already have some conceptual designs, and so we don't necessarily need a full-blown design cost here. So we, we're thinking we can get it done for half a million. Okay, we also talked about the 2014 annual town meeting and the board has agreed that it will be on Saturday, April 5th. We're going to go back to Saturday. The town election will be two weeks after that on Tuesday, right. April 15th. So, okay, so uh, I will talk so to you in a bit. That was that. I gave them an update about the conference, International City Management Association conference that Greg and I went to last week. And then we got into Baxter Road. And to make a long story short, because it was a long story, the board is basically agreed to be a co-applicant with Scotts Beach Preservation Fund for notice of intent to the Conservation Commission for um, geotubes along the base of the bluff in certain locations. The board also signed off on a memorandum of understanding that SBPF will fund that project and some other items. We're also concurrently looking at alternative access to Baxter Road in the event that the road does fail. There are apparently, well, not apparently, there are differing opinions about whether or not or when the road might fail, but I think the town is needs to be responsible is this, and have an alternate access plan. Is this ready. partially why we're agreeing to a go with that? Yes. But it's not costing the town any money? It shouldn't GOT? be costing the town money. That's right. It should not be. So we're going to have to see how this transpires. I believe it goes to the ConCom next week. Do you, do you, Livy, I, I'm, I don't want to get you too involved in this, but does that mean that uh, they're going to give up their hopes of building a hard toe at the um, bottom? Or? I am unsure about that. I, I think not. Yeah. Keep walking. Yeah, that, that, that's a, that guy's a loser <laughs> anyway. Just some local citizenry. So anyway, um, that was Baxter Road. That 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 took a while, and then the board was not too interested in doing comments on the special town meeting ward articles. Don't forget, we have a special town meeting on November fourth for some budget items, a zoning issue, some sewer district expansion articles, and um, there's a, there's a couple of other things. So much there's stuff on your plate. Hi, Kenny. Great. How are you? He's got that little phone in his ear all the time. Well, people have that. Yeah. Do they talk on that thing all of the time? Of course. Nat, that's what it's Nat a Bluetooth. Talks on. Is that what Nat talks on? Yeah, you don't have to pick up your phone anymore. You so just, you just talk all the time? Well, you can get your calls on, on it. You know, it's your hands do you, free. Do you have to totally. tap it? I think like, you how do. Does it work? I, think you I don't want to know how it works. I don't care how it works. <coughs> anyway. If it was more fashionable, you might wear it. I might. What if it was an earring? And you wouldn't even know. You could. You know what I mean? It'd have to depend on what it looked like. Yeah, exactly. Maybe. All right. Sometimes it's hard to hear people when they're talking on that thing. You know, it's not as good as a regular phone. Anyway, I was saying, you have a lot, there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff going on. There's the special town meeting. There's the Baxter Road thing. That's taking a massive amount of time. We're starting to get warrant articles ready for the annual, the budget, the capital. And that's the tip of the iceberg right there. So there's there's just there's just a lot. Um, that, that was pretty much it for, for the meeting next week. Next, for the meeting this week. Next week, we have a workshop which will involve... Um, oh, is it a workshop meeting? It's a workshop meeting, so it's going to be in the training room. All right. Second floor training All room right. next week at the, at the public safety facility. All right. There's two, two topics that they're going to be talking about. One of them is ways in which to manage tourism activities and functions in the community, and the other is parking. I want to make a, a little brief Ooh. comment about the management of tourism activities in the community. I noticed that there was a headline in the paper yesterday that said the selectmen are considering a merger of visitor services in the Chamber of Commerce. Not quite accurate. The selectmen will be discussing whether or not to consider different ways in which to manage tourism activities and functions community-wide. This is not, not something that, I mean, there, there are a lot of ideas. There's, there's a, an, a plan that's been, or a, a, um, a suggestion, I guess I would call it, that would, that's been put forward. There are, there are any number of suggestions, and this, this is just a discussion. There's, there's nothing decided. People are very, um, what's yeah. the word? They're very upset and agitated about this whole thing. It's a discussion. Yeah, they would prefer. Some people would prefer that they didn't even bring it up. I'm, I'm sure they would. I'm sure. I'm sure. 
and sometimes I kind of preferring that because it's taken that's taken a lot of my exactly. time. Exactly, you've got but a lot more to do. The the this is this is a policy yeah. issue. This of is what the is. board does. So in any case, um, that that's a discussion next week. And the parking, there are they have some different ideas about parking that have been floating around, such as potentially changing the time of the two-hour zone. So right now the time is, I think, 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. It's you, you can park for two hours within that time frame. They talked about adjusting the end time to maybe I forget if they're talking about earlier or later. Might have been earlier. Probably. Anyway, there's that. There's overnight parking of commercial vehicles has become something of an issue. There's winter parking enforcement that they'll probably talk about. Um, residential parking permits, perhaps. And paid parking. I think they're going to just talk about that again. Could that be? I mean, there was some talk about the electric company land being um, used. Is that ever going to? Well, it was used, as you know, for the valet parking for the summer, which was, by most accounts, very successful. We'll be talking to National Grid to see if we can do that again. Whether or not a larger portion of, of or that land could be used for, for continued parking, that, that's a whole different thing. Um, there's a lot of issues with that, so I'm, I'm not sure how that's going to progress. Plus, ultimately, I think the idea is to get the tank farm out of there and then have some redevelopment of that entire um, area, and not just the National Grid lot. So anyway, that's just, that's ongoing. The paid parking idea, this has come and gone for a number of years, years I'm gonna say, ever since I started working for the town. And I think I think they're, they're gonna maybe explore it again. What are the options? Technology changes quite a bit for paid parking. So what's out there? I mean, again, discussion. That's what these workshops are for, talking about things openly and publicly, and, and that's it. Yeah, okay. And what else is going on? Um, so I just so those are the meetings. Oh, the sewer project is started, and there are various roads that are blocked from time to time, and we need to do. I noticed yesterday a better job of getting where the blockages are um, on the town website. So we're we're working on that, and hopefully by today or early next week we'll have very up-to-date information of where the roads roads will be blocked and um gino it is an awesome day it's beautiful Gosh, i hope it's real... like this all weekend yep. not, i don't know though i think it will be still like summer Libby. can you believe it i i, I love it i do so too great. this is totally my favorite time of year on Nantucket. it's just so beautiful yep and the, and my um these are my one of my favorite trees on the island these cherry trees in front of the town building oh yeah. these here okay there. Yep. But when they when they have turned, there's one over there that's turning. Yeah. When they have, it's so beautiful. Right. And then then you have the double benefit of when the spring, when the cherry blossoms are out. Right. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, too. Really nice. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Yep. Thank you very much. See you next time.